So today I'm going to talk about four things that I personally quit, stop doing, okay? Four things that I stopped doing and was able to save over a thousand dollars. Now, this series was actually brought um, to my attention because um, you know, I'm always saying, guys, if you have anything specific that you want me to talk about, um, inbox me, get in touch with me, and if it's a topic that I'm familiar with, I will speak on it. And as you know, I'm really, 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 really extremely good with um, saving, making money, finances, personal finance, debt, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm just not talking it, but this is something that I live and breathe. Um, my name is Odetta King with OdettaKing.com where I help you save more money and I also help you strategize opportunities that you can optimize and maximize your skills. So hey, thanks for joining guys. So today we're talking about four things that you can do to save more money. Because I get a lot of people saying, well Odetta, I'm living paycheck to paycheck or well Odetta I just don't have enough or I don't know what it is I can't seem to save or you know with everything that's going on I can't I can't like I just can't save right so I just wanted to come on here and give you guys four simple tips that I personally have been using and I know it worked because I've been doing this for like years now and it comes to me like second nature. So I want to share those tips with you to help you save and as we're going to be embarking on the fourth quarter, you know, there's a lot of things that's going to be coming up. We have Thanksgiving that's going to be coming up in November, which is going to be like skyrocket for shopping black friday shopping online black friday shopping in the store it's going to be a madhouse and everyone is going to be spending 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 so i want to equip with some tools to help you save money and hopefully you're not going to be spending so much and then of course we have christmas that's going to be coming up and again it's another bananas go crazy time where people are going to go crazy shopping then we have halloween in october and again more shopping so there's always going to be shopping spending shopping spending so part of what i'm really good at is first and foremost having your mindset right having a monetized mindset having a mindset of always stacking coins whether that be saving or earning just stack your coins Hey, Shoshana, thanks for joining. So, um, four things that you can do to save $1,000. And these are things that I said have I've been doing for God knows how long that to me it comes second nature. So when someone reached out to me and shot me an inbox message and said, hey, how can I save more money? Even though I'm always doing these scopes, sometimes people catch it some others don't and so i always that's something that i could talk on for the rest of my life so here we go grab your pen grab your paper i'm going to give you four things that you can do to save more money and in fact all of this week tuesday today wednesday thursday wednesday thursday we're going to talk about um just saving just saving just helping you save money like if you have a job I don't care if you live in paycheck to paycheck, there are things that you can do. If you have a job, you can save more money. You probably don't even realize it or you probably have not ever really thought about it. But if you have an income, you can save money. There's so much information. There's so many tools and resources to help you save. You have absolutely no excuse unless if you do not know and if you don't know that's why i'm here so guys before we jump into tonight's content we want to share this broadcast so do me a favor and click the share button on facebook click the share button on periscope because we want other people to get us information so that they too can share. You don't want to be that rich friend. You don't want to be that one friend in the crew that's got their life together, that has their money, and everybody else is broke. That's not cute. We all want to have rich friends. We all want to have friends that are on the same level. So get this, when we go on vacation, or when we party, or when we go to dinner, 
like no one is stressing the bill like you could just plop your american express credit card and people hey neil pearl thanks for joining you could just flop drop your american express card or whatever and everyone is good with it like you don't want to be the only rich friends right you want to have friends on your level and higher it's this way everybody's eating everybody's making money everybody's stacking their coins everybody is doing something productive and making it happen so share the feed before we jump into tonight content share the feed on Facebook share the feed on Periscope this way your peeps can also catch the broadcast if not live they can watch it afterwards because again we want to make sure that we have people like us we want to make sure that people are making money we want to make sure that people are saving money and knowledge is power and like I said there's a lot of resources hey Omika there's a lot of resources today to help you save or to help you make money and if you don't know that's why you're here and hopefully you'll know so before we start four things we're talking tonight to help you save a thousand dollars so rule number one is how many of you have subscriptions hey thanks for joining Lumika. how many of you have subscription whether it be a subscription to a magazine a subscription to um, some kind of um, thing that you get monthly you have monthly subscriptions right or how many of you buy books if you're buying books brand new right there I can show you how you could be easily saving hundred and fifty dollars because most subscription you think are about $7.99 to $9.99 per month now I was like an avid reader hey lover and thanks for joining I was an avid, well, I'm still an avid reader, but I was an avid reader and subscribed to Ebony Magazine. I subscribed to Vogue Magazine. I subscribed, I had like, at one point I had like three different subscriptions. Let, type a comment in the box if you have a monthly subscription of any kind or you buy books brand new. Type a one in the comment if you buy books brand new or if you have any kind of monthly subscription. And monthly subscription could be, you know, anything that you're paying monthly and you're probably not even using it, like magazines, right? Like um, different magazines or what else can you be subscribing to? Something that you're subscribing monthly, every month that you're not reading, but for whatever reason, because it's a low fee, you're probably just paying the monthly fee every month. So, oh, okay, Netflix. Okay, so Netflix, you subscribe. Okay, that's good. So monthly subscriptions, one way that you could actually easily save $150 with monthly subscription or if you're subscribing to magazines. Magazines. No one should be like paying for a monthly subscription when it comes to magazine. A lot of these things you can get online for free. You can stream it for free. You can download PDFs for free, right? If you're buying books, no one should be buying brand new books. No one. There are so many ebooks that you could get for free, or you can get the download version, which is almost next to free because it's so cheaper. So, right there between buying new books and monthly subscription those are ways that you can easily save a hundred and fifty dollars per year and I had to do this myself like I said at one point I was subscribing to three different magazines that I wasn't even reading and the books just kept coming and coming and I would keep saying to myself yes I'm gonna read it I'm gonna read it on a plane when I travel or I'm gonna read it at some point and I never got around to reading and before you know it the whole year went by and I spent a monthly subscription on magazines that I never read so I canceled those that was money that I saved another thing is books you do not have to buy brand new books when I was in college and university I never ever well maybe once or twice in the beginning I bought brand new textbooks you do not need to buy brand new textbook you should buy used books and a really really good site for buying used books or used textbook is half.com which is part of ebay.com magazines books all the stuff you can get for practically for free or peanuts especially if you go to thrift store if you swap it um and when i say swap of course i gotta plug my own company i love to swap.com which is a site that allows people to swap stuff swapping as in trading so let's say if you have a book 
and you're looking to get other books, then you could go on I love to swap.com and search for other books that people want to get rid of and you could swap with them. So you send them your book, they send you their book. So it's a swap. And we do this with clothes, shoes, accessories, home goods. You can swap. When you swap, it's zero dollars spent. You get something for free, you give something for free. So thrift stores, antique stores, yard sales like those places sell books for f almost like pennies 50 cents a dollar so you don't need to buy new books you don't need to buy new textbooks you don't need to buy brand new stuff your subscription cut it cut it M magazine monthly subscriptions those kind of stuff cut it and you'll be shaving easily saving 150 dollars so that's number one the next part that's going to help you save more money if you are ready for item number two type a two in the comment box on facebook type a two in the comment box on periscope so we're talking about four things that you can do if you quit you can do to save easily a thousand dollars so number one was new textbook or subs monthly subscription Number two is bottled water. Guys, like I lately, lately, lately stopped doing this because I found myself buying bottled water like so much and I would buy it in bulk when they're on sale. And I started reading and reading and reading and reading. I'm like, but you know, it really doesn't make a difference because sometimes I would drink the tap water and then other times I would drink the bottled water and there was actually no difference in taste. So I started reading more to see like what's so special about, you know, the bottled water. And yes, we all get caught up with the brand. We all get caught up with the name. But if you're living in the States, dude, guys, like tap water in the States is good water. You can't even tell the difference if you try doing a taste. Do a blindfold taste. Taste your tap water and taste the bottled water. You're not even going to know the taste. And yes, this bottled water has all these fancy claim that it's from some spring in the Atlantic Ocean or some parts of the Swiss Alps. Dude, it's, just, it, it's water. And if you're living in the States, it's good water. So you could easily save, easily five hundred dollars easily by stop buying bottled water and just using tap water i personally would buy like four cases of water in a month and this is conservative four cases would probably cost me about maybe 15 to 20 dollars when i have when there's a good sale so can you imagine a household a household with hub husband mom three or four kids or two to three kids like guys can you imagine the amount of water they would be saving by using tap water and not buying bottled water it's the same freaking thing it's the same thing like there's absolutely no difference so one other way that you can save money is by using the tap water and not buying bottled water now, if you're living outside of the States, maybe in, you know, some undeveloped country or some third world country, then yeah, I'm not going to suggest that because, you know, they've got a lot of other elements going on and it may not be safe to drink the tap water. But us living here in the States, the water is not going to kill you. You're not going to die. It's safe. In fact, it's much more regulated than bottled water from private companies. Much more regulated. Okay, so that's another way that you can easily save at least $500 per year by using your tap water and not buying bottled water. Number three is, are you guys ready for number three? Type a comment if you're ready for number three tip where we're talking about, yes, exactly, or you could use a filter mug. So that, that right there might be an investment, but it's like a one-time charge. Once you buy the filter mug, and you plug it on like that's it and that's gonna last you forever until it breaks but that's not a huge way to save money as opposed to always going like guys when I go grocery shopping like I would like literally go crazy just looking for bottled water on sale and I would stock up when I see it on sale because I'm thinking okay it's healthy it's much better and I would just buy these bottled water now I'm not even stressing it no more 
I just use the tap water. I live in New York where it's one of like the most um, potent water. And like I said, it's regulated, so it's safe. So number three, another way that you could save a boatload of money throughout the year and a lot of people sleep on this a lot of people get caught up in brands so people are brand specific when they shop they're brand specific they're only going for certain brands guys think of this as if you're gonna buy a shirt if you buy a shirt in Macy's versus a shirt in Saks Fifth Avenue the exact same shirt the exact same shirt, if you go in Macy's and you see that the exact same shirt in Saks Fifth Avenue, wh where do you think it's going to be more expensive? Where is it going to be more expensive in Macy's or is it going to be more expensive in Saks Fifth Avenue? Type, the, type your answer. Is it going to be more expensive in Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue? That exact same short is going to be more expensive in Saks Fifth Avenue. Why? Because, exactly, exactly, because you're paying for the brand. You're paying for the freaking brand on the store. And people feel that it's much better. But you could get that same exact shirt in Macy's cheaper. But just because it's in Saks Fifth Avenue brand store, it's going to be expensive. Same thing with brands. When you go shopping, don't get caught up on you got to have the bounty brand or you got to have this brand or whatever it is you're shopping. Don't get caught up in the brand name because especially this, this is especially true for grocery shopping. Like if I go shopping, like I don't care if it's a Jeffy's peanut butter or if it's some other kind of peanut butter or the store brand peanut butter. Like, dude, peanut butter is peanut butter. I'm not going to say, oh, I only want Jiffy or, oh, I only want whatever brand because nine out of ten times when you look, when you compare both brands side by side, they always have the exact active ingredients. And people make a lot of mistake with this. They think that, oh, because it's the big brand like it's gonna be better same with drugs a lot of drugs go for the generic brand in fact pharmaceutical certain doctors will tell you you don't have to get well doctors who are not so much <laughs> trying to rip you off will you know prescribe the high-end brand drug but a real doctor who's looking to help you save money He's going to tell you it's okay if you get this other brand because you know what? They're all going to have the same active ingredients. The same active ingredients is going to have. So you don't need to get caught up with, oh, I need a specific brand. You could buy the store brand. You could buy the generic brand. And that's going to save you a boatload of money easily. Don't get caught up with the brand because the brand all have, for the most part, the same active ingredients. That right there is a game changer. That right there will help you save money without even like doing anything. So the next time you go grocery shopping, don't say, well, I'm not going to get this or I'm not going to get that because it's not the brand that I want. Still get it. Get the store brand. Get whatever's on sale. It's the same thing. Okay. And my last point is pedicure and manicure. Guys, can I just tell you, pedicure and manicure is a game changer for us ladies. Because a lot of you, including me, get our nails done every two to three weeks. Right there, that's like $30, $40. Easily. Pedicure and manicure is a game changer. A game changer. If you get your nails done every three to six weeks, you're shelling out $30 something dollars. And don't get me started with the designs. If you have extra designs, that's probably going to be another 5 to $10 easily. So, you know what I started doing? I started doing my own nails. I started doing my own freaking nails. Like, I would go to the dollar store and I would buy nail polish for like 5 or $10. Like a whole bunch, all the different colors. And I would do my own nails. Now, of course, occasionally, if I have to take a business trip or if I'm going on vacation, I may, you know, go to the store and maybe do something a little fancy just for that particular one-off incident. 
but for the most part on a day-to-day -day regular routine i do my own nails and i kid you not that right there saved me five hundred dollars easily easily not only it saved me money but it also saved me time because if every time every three to six weeks or every two to three weeks you're going to the nail salon and getting your nails done you're spending at least an hour sitting there which is time you're also going to spend maybe 30 to 40 dollars getting your nails done so can you imagine if you were to multiply that for the whole year easily 500 dollars you just shaved off easily and I said, like I said, for the occasional times when you have to, you know, go on a business trip or go on a vacation or do, you know, do something special, then yeah, the onesie, twosie, one-off cases, yeah, you go get your nail done and you put some design or whatnot, and that's okay. But for the most part, if you do your own nails, or you could also invest in a gel manicure kit, which it's a one-time fee and it lasts you forever and you do your own nails at home and that's going to save you money so just to recap tonight we're talking about four things that i quit doing that was able to effortlessly help me save a thousand dollars easily easily and if you do these things as well you can easily save money so there's no excuse why you can't save money because if you're not saving money is because you don't have a monetized mindset if you're not saving money it's because you don't want to save money there are things that you can do every day and it's just a mindset to have it a lifestyle that you can do to save money so just to recap four things that you can do to save money are one Instead of buying new books and all your monthly subscription for a magazine, cut it. Just cut it. Cancel it. Because you're getting this subscription monthly and you're probably not even reading it. As opposed to you buying brand new books, you could buy used books. Okay? And I've given you places where you could actually go and buy used books. Almost everything is online today and it's online for free. So that's one way you could save easily $150. Tip number two, we talk about not buying bottled water and just using your regular tap water. We're living in the States. We're a developed country. We're not an undeveloped or a third world country where there's all kind of crazy stuff going on. The infrastructure is not there. Dudes, we're living in the States. The water is good. The water is good. In fact, it's much more regulated than bottled water private companies. So you could save easily $500 annually by using your own tap water and not buying bottled water or if you want you could buy a filter like Omika suggested you could get a filter and put it on your pipe and get the water but it's do a blindfold test between bottled water and tap water and you're gonna see there's absolutely no difference in taste point number three we talk about when you go shopping try not to get too caught up on the brand name especially when it comes to drugs and grocery shopping because most of these items have the exact same active ingredients active ingredient that's gonna make it work so as opposed to you buying the brand stuff which is gonna be more expensive go for the generic brands and you're gonna save money easily and part point number five which is my favorite is doing your own manicure that's gonna save you easily five hundred dollars easily if you get your nails done every two to three weeks and you're shelling out thirty to forty dollars girlfriend you're gonna be saving easily more than five hundred dollars by doing your own nails go to the dollar store get you a whole bunch of nice nail polish and do your own nail it's therapeutic it's free and if you ever want to do something special for a trip, vacation, or whatever, then you go to the nail salon and do your onesie, twosies, special occasion, and you're going to be saving time. So those are my four points. Hope you join us tomorrow. Like I said, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be talking about more tips to help you save money. Today, I've given you four tips that if you were to do them, you could actually save $1,000 over throughout the year a thousand dollars so there you have it it's a girl odetta also known as your coin strategist helping you save money and also helping you stack your coins if you have any questions 
drop them in the comment below or you can always message me on my Facebook business page which is this page this Facebook feed that we're on right now facebook.com forward slash Odetta King um, I do have a freebie for you you know I'm all about free stuff I do have a freebie for you to help you save more money just go to my website odetaking.com once you go to odetaking.com click on the tab that says free gift and I have five tools to help you save more money effortlessly effortlessly don't forget Christmas is coming Thanksgiving is coming Halloween is coming and we're coming up on a season where you're going to be spending money. So you want to make sure, first of all, we're not going to promote spending, spending, spending because I'm promoting you saving and stacking your coins. But if you have to spend, you want to be wise how you're going to be spending your money. So let's get you stacking those coins. Let's get your savings because after we get you saving, we're going to talk about investing. But we cannot talk about investing unless we first have certain things in place and plug certain holes that your savings account is protected, your emergency fund is protected, and you have money in the right pockets and now extra that you can invest. This week is all about saving, saving, saving. So thank you so much for your time. Again, please, please, please share the broadcast on Facebook. Tag a girlfriend, tag a boyfriend. Share the broadcast on Periscope with... Um, your Twitter peeps because you do not want to be the only girl or the only guy that got your shit together. You do not want to be the only person in your crew that, that's balling or that's got their life together or that's got money. You want to have friends that also have their shit together. You want to have friends that also got their money together. So when you guys both go on vacation or you go partying or you go to dinner, everybody can just plop their American Express card because we all are doing well. And you don't want to be that broke friend. And you don't want to have that broke friend. So make sure you are sharing, 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 share the broadcast, share it, and let other people learn how they too can stack their coins by saving their money and also making more money. So this week is all about saving, saving, saving. And don't forget to go to my website, odetaking.com. Click on the free gift and claim your free gift to help you with five tools to save more money. Just to recap, we talked about four things that you can do tonight to easily, easily help you save $1,000. Because I don't want to hear, oh, I can't save. Or I don't want to hear, I'm not making enough to save. But there are things that you can do to save money. If you don't know how, keep tuning in and I'll share tips and strategies to help you stack your coins. Bye, guys. Share the broadcast, watch the replay, and I will see you here tomorrow where we'll continue talking about more tips to help you save more money. Today was four tips to help you save $1,000. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.